All right, hi everyone. How are you guys doing? It's been a long time since I've posted a video. I hope my microphone is working good. I know this. I'm raising the quality on my camera is a little crazy, but I wanted to come on and show you guys some of my products and um, tell you about my Etsy shop. I opened my Etsy shop back up. And I've got some things up and posted, and we'll be adding more things. Um, if you see behind me here, this is my rack for my tutus. I'm going to be doing a, that my cat is attacking. I'm going to be doing um, trade shows here in my local town soon. Um, if you look on my Facebook page, you can find out where those are. Um, I have my tutus here. These are just some of them. Uh that I have for sale. They are also on my Etsy shop. This one here is my favorite one. Let's see if I can grab it down real quick. Okay, so this is my favorite one right here. It's a pretty with the little pink ribbon. I like this one a lot. Um, it's pretty simple to make these. You can find the instructions online. But I started making them and selling them because I don't know many people in my local area that does sell them. So. I started making them and selling them. I've had a couple of good sales. Um, but I also have a lot more that I do. Um, you can find everything on my Etsy shop. I just, my newest thing, which is only going to be my newest thing, not for long. But um, so newest thing as of right now is my bath salts. Um, these jars are actually just like washed out um, seasoning jars. So like it works out because the what comes in the jar I actually use in my bath bombs. It's just ginger. So I use these ginger jars and I clean them out, clean them really good, and then package up my bath salts. And they smell amazing. I have five cents right now. Um... I have more scents, but they're just not made up yet. These are just kind of like displays that I'll have up at my uh, trade show. So these are peppermint, um, lavender. These are actually supposed to be purple. I put the colors in separately instead of mixing them beforehand. So I got blue. Oh, well. And then I have orange which actually came out, it's kind of hard to tell the color, but it actually came out really pretty. I love this color. I love this scent even more. And then I have eucalyptus, which is something that I use a lot. I use eucalyptus in the rub that I make for my daughter because she's, she gets really congested. She has asthma. She has a lot of other problems going on. The eucalyptus helps her out a lot. So I use eucalyptus a lot. I use it in my rub that I make for her. I use it in my bath bombs. I use it in my um, uh, bath salts. Um, I use it uh, in my our diffusers. We have a diffuser in almost every room in the house. Um, the boys have one in their room. The babies have one in their room. We have one in the living room. Uh, in the kitchen, I don't use a diffuser, but I do use a wax warmer. So um, I also have a diffuser in my room. I think the only room we don't have a diffuser in is, like I said, the kitchen because we use a wax warmer in there and the restroom. <laughs> but who needs a diffuser in there? We have my bath salts. Um, my next thing, my newest thing is going to be... Um, my cats are fighting. <laughs> my newest thing is going to be um, shower steamers. I'm going to start doing those. I'm going to be making plain ones that you can add your own oils to before you throw them in the shower. And then I'm going to be making ones with um, that already have the oils uh, put into them. So, um, yeah. So, what was that? Tutus, bath salts, my bath bombs. I'm not going to show you that one. One thing that I hated about having my bath bombs in a shop that I wasn't around to actually watch them is what tends to happen is people want to pick them up and they want to, you know, squeeze on them and do stuff like that. And then they end up like this. 
It's just basically a bath of mix. <laughs> It'll still fit, but of course I'm not going to sell them like this. Who wants to buy that? <laughs> so it's good that I'll be doing trade shows now and I'll be the one there watching my product because this is unacceptable. But I do have my bath bombs. These right here are my all natural bath bombs. I don't use um, essential oils in them. And uh, so they, uh, and I don't use coloring or dyes in them. So they're they're completely natural. I use ginger to scent them, and they kind of smell like ginger snaps. So I like these a lot, and I know my customers like the fact that they're completely natural. Like you could basically eat this with no problems, except I don't know, baking soda might give you the runs, but other than that, I mean, it's everything in here is basically a food-based ingredient, but they do smell amazing, and they don't have any color in them, and um, visibly, they're, they're really, I just like the color of them, the fact that they don't have color, because you don't, it's kind of hard to get the right color. This color was supposed to be... I don't even know it. Which one this is? This is one of my ones that actually has like the coloring and essential oils and all that in it. No, get down, crazy cat. <laughs> so it's hard to see, but it's actually a green. So I don't like using colorings. I I do like using the essential oils in them, but I feel like it's more productive to do the natural ones because they don't have oils in them. They're scented naturally and they're still good for your skin. Um, they don't have the uh, aromatherapy aspect to them, but they're still extremely good for your skin, everything that's in them. Um, and I don't use um, like these, I use Epsom salt in them, which is really good for soaking and pain and things like that. But I don't use those in my natural ones. Like I said, everything, is food based basically so in my natural ones it actually has sea salt in it which is still a good thing for your skin so um i have those this one just to kind of show you i'm currently packaging them up getting everything ready for tomorrow um this one is this is my large um this one is a medium medium and then I got my small so three different sizes three different prices get to choose um I will be selling them for cheaper at my craft shows than what I will be selling them online on my Etsy shop because if you shop well if you sell on Etsy you know how those fees are how they work and everything so everything that I sell on my Etsy shop has to be priced higher than what I would sell it if I was selling it to you in person. Um, my, I think my bath salts are the same price on Etsy as what I sell them at the stores. Not sure, but I'm, I think so. Um, so I also have for my customers tomorrow, I have, um, little samples of, my bath salts, little samples, they smell so good. Because, um, you know, it's always nice to be able to try something out before you actually buy it, you know? Because, you know, it's just nicer. So samples are always a good thing. I love free samples. I'm always more likely to buy something if I... Um, if I have a sample first, I'm more likely to buy it. If I get to try it first and like, oh, okay, I like this or no, I don't like this, then hey, it's better. Um, so I have those and then I have my headbands. My headbands are not on my Etsy shop right now because it's just too much of a, it's too much. I mean, you have to charge for shipping. You got to charge for the product itself. Um, it's the price difference after the fees and shipping costs and all that you're not making any money 
all of it. So that's why my headbands will only be sold in person, like at my trade shops and um, probably going to be branching out to more places than just the, the trade show that we have here. Um, there's also one in my hometown that I want to do. Um, probably that would be, well, it won't be next weekend. <laughs> that would be when they would be having it, but I won't be doing it next weekend because I have to get together a birthday party for my kid. His birthday is on the 27th, and today it's the 22nd, and I haven't planned anything. So I have to get that together. So I will not be doing that next week. But this weekend, I will definitely be doing it um, here, and then maybe next month, because the one in my hometown is only once a month. So, But um, these are my headbands. They were in a, a shop, um, so that's why they're on this board here they were in a shop but um these are pretty much like when customers come in like these are kind of like i will sell these but i can make them any color band any color flower any type of um bow or whatever i mean i they're pretty much can be made to order also. Just like my bath bombs and my shower steamies are gonna pretty much be made to order because like I said, I'm gonna have the um, the plain ones that you can add scent to and then I'm gonna have ones with, that already have scent to it. Um, if you hear that weird noise going on over there, I have two cats. So <laughs> they're a little crazy. So my cat is, she is fighting with a plastic bag right now. So that's that noise if you can hear it. Just ignore her. Okay, so um, I like, I am a huge, okay, let's see if I can find one that's not broken. Wow, okay. I'm a huge Amazon shopper. I love shopping on Amazon. I get all, well, almost all of my um, packaging stuff, my ingredients, everything off of Amazon. I'm a huge Amazon shopper. I, um, I'm a Prime member, so the two-day shipping is always a plus because it helps me to get things when I need them. And there's also the overnight shipping at a discounted price when you're a Prime member, so that's something that... I take very much advantage of. Um, one thing that I found on Amazon that I love very much are these homemade, uh, or not, not homemade, handmade with love stickers. I love these. They come on a big roll. So this isn't even the whole roll. I've used a lot of these. Um, I've even cut it off, so some of them... <laughs> So, and this isn't even, like, that isn't, I think they come on a roll of 500, I think, so, you know, and they're easy to peel off, they they stick on really good, they stay on, no problems. Um, I will put a link to these in the description, but I love these stickers, and I can put them on everything. I use them on my tutu tags, oh, I took the tutu tags off. Let me see if I can find one real quick. Took the two two tags off so I could take pictures of them for my Etsy shop. Okay, and now I can't find them, but whatever. Um, I use them on my two two tags. I use them on my bath salts. I use them on my bath bomb tags. I use them on everything. Well, my bath bomb tags and my two two tags actually look exactly the same. The only difference is this top part right here doesn't say Maddie's Mom Bath Bombs. It says Maddie's Mom's Tutus and it doesn't have this label at the bottom because um, that's my ingredients that I put into my bath bombs. So the tutu labels look just like that but um, the stickers are really, they're really helpful because it's it gives it a nice little touch when someone knows, you know, this is handmade. People love handmade things. So I put them on my bath salts. I put them on my uh, bath bombs. They will be on my shower steamers. Um, they, I use them on my tutus because everything that I have, everything that I sell is handmade. I'm trying to get into 
All right, you guys. Sorry about the interruption. Um, so, not even sure what I was talking about. <laughs> um, I know I was mentioning about the the stickers. I'll leave that description. But um, yeah. Hmm. What was I talking about? Yeah, the samples. Say hi. Say hi. Oreo, say hi. I saw you. You lifted your arm. Say hi. Wave. This is my baby. My other baby's over there. They're crazy. <laughs> What's that, my third time saying that? Whatever. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, I am going to finish getting these things together because they have to be done by tomorrow. Um, I have to finish going through my bath bombs. I have to finish packaging some of my bath bombs because I got a batch that I haven't packaged yet. And I have to start this shower steamer um, recipe. I've been looking for a different recipe, something that I kind of incorporate with my natural recipe because essential oils, they're, if you don't have a good place to get them or if you're not buying them wholesale or whatever, they tend to get a bit expensive. So... Um, sometimes it's, you know, the majority of the recipes that I, ow, ow, told you she's crazy. She's bitten. Um, majority of the recipes that, um, I've found for shower steamers tend to call for like 60 drops of essential oil or like a teaspoon of essential oil. And that's a bit much. That makes the price of whatever I'm using them in go up. So, like with my um, my all natural bath bombs, it's not that bad because I don't use the essential oils and oils in those. Even though essential oils are natural, I still don't use them in the all natural bath bombs. So, those I can kind of work with the prices because they're I don't have to use the oils in them which means I'm not using my oils up. Not only that, but I um, I haven't got with a company yet. I'm trying to find a company where I can partner with to like get my oils in bulk. And that way I can use them. I, can, I want to sell them also. I want to start selling the essential oils, but I also want to... Um, uh, I also want to use them in my products, and then I also use them at home a lot for my daughter because, like I said, she has a lot of health issues, and we use essential oils a lot. My um, my oldest, he has ADHD. I use essential oils for him. Um, my second one, I know he eventually is going to be diagnosed with ADHD, so I already use the oils on him because I can't. We haven't. He hasn't got a diagnosis yet, and. Um, so he's not on any type of medication. My oldest is, so he's on medication, but I also use the oils for him. And then all but one of my, um, four kiddos has breathing problems. Say, uh, my oldest has been diagnosed with asthma. My daughter's been diagnosed with asthma and my second has breathing issues, but he hasn't been diagnosed yet because he's been doing really good. So, um, I think maybe farther on down the line. He's getting about to that age where my um, my uh, oldest started. He's getting to that age that my oldest got diagnosed at. Um, my oldest, I didn't even know that he had any types of breathing problems. It literally came out of nowhere. Up into the age of three three or four, I think like early four, like right after he turned four, it just came out of nowhere. I mean, it just hit him. He couldn't breathe. I was like, oh my gosh, rush him to the hospital. And then it's like, okay, oh, hey, he has a reactive airway disease. Okay. They sent me home with um, an inhaler and they were like, okay, give him his inhaler um, and he'll be all right. Sent him home. Later on that night, it like at first it was like okay he can't breathe that good his talking is he can't talk that good you know he's you know he was you could tell he had something going on but that night after they had sent him home I was giving him his medications and he couldn't sleep he couldn't walk he couldn't talk he was full-blown just distraught 
rushed him back to the hospital. And then that's when they were like, okay, he has asthma. So um, he's had some problems. His is normally weather related. Um, now my second, his is, um, they have diagnosed him with reactive airway disease, but they have not diagnosed him with asthma. Um, his is more activity related. The weather doesn't too much bother him. His is more activity related, running, playing, things like that. He gets out of breath extremely fast. He starts to wheeze, all of that. So he has inhalers, nebulizers, all that. My daughter, hers is also weather related. Hers is bad. I thought I had a lot to deal with with my oldest. My daughter, it's insane. She she's on controller medicines that she has to have every day. She's on she has a rescue inhaler that she has to that she gets when she's just at her worst. She has a nebulizer that we can use when she's bad, but not at that point where we need to go to the hospital. So we have all of that for her. Um, she's on nasal spray. She's already had ear tubes done. Um, and she just has a lot of problems going on. So the I I use essential I try to use essential oils for majority of her problems, but she still gets her regular medications. All of my children, they get their regular medications that they have to take. We still use the essential oils because that, on top of their medications, just makes for a much happier household here. <laughs> um. So, yeah, check out my Etsy shop. Um. All of my products except my headbands are on there and my shower steamers because I haven't started those yet. But my bath salts are on there. My tutus are on there. Um, my bath bombs are on there. Um, I don't know if I, I probably won't be putting my headbands on there, but the shower steamers will definitely be on there when those get done. Um, so check out my Etsy shop. I've been posting on my Facebook page lately. So, um... I'll put the link to my Facebook page on there. Also have a um, Facebook page for my crafts alone. I have my single motherness page that I use, and then I have um, Maudie's Mom's Crafts that I use just for like my craft stuff, like for my bath sauce, bath bombs, um, stuff like that. Um, and then I have, um, I don't really use my Twitter anymore. Maybe I'll start back. I don't know, but I don't use my Twitter anymore, but I have been posting on my blog. So also check that out. I will put links to all of that in the description. And I hope you guys will take advantage of my Etsy shop. Um, it's like I said, I just got it restarted. So um, there's it, it has some way to go. <laughs> but um, yeah, so check all that out. Um, like I said, I can do custom orders, so uh, message me on Facebook, or um, I think there's a way to message the sellers on Etsy, and we can uh, work something out, because like I said, on Etsy, my prices are a lot higher because there's fees, and there's shipping costs, and all of that, but I could definitely work something out if you contact me personally, or even like with the tutus, they're they're, they can be made to order. So tell me what you want. Show me a picture of what you want. I can do it. Send it to you. There we go. Um, or if you're local to this, to my area, I live in Cleveland, Texas. If you're local to my area, um, I believe my phone number is on my Maudie's Mom's Crafts Facebook page. So shoot me a text, leave me a voicemail, um, Send me a picture of what you want, whatever you want to do, um, and I can give you a price. We can work something out. We can meet somewhere. I'll give it to you. Or um, if you're farther away and you don't want to go through the Etsy process, then um, I can still ship out to you, and it just be uh, it won't be with through the Etsy. Um, but yeah, so check out my blog. Check out my Facebook. My two Facebooks: Single Motherness. I will still be doing my parenting videos. I will probably do a separate video aside from this to update you on everything. Cause I know the last time that I did a video, I know I did my uh, review of the essential oils that I use in um, in my products. I did, uh, I think I did another video before that where I was, you know, starting to come back and, you know. So um, 
if you haven't seen those videos, then you're probably looking at my old videos. I think in my old videos, I think the last one I did, I was either pregnant or I had just had my second kid. Um, I got four now. <laughs> I have four children, and I know someone has asked this before on a previous video. Yes, I'm still a single mother, but now I'm a single mother of four. <laughs> not one, not two. I've had another and another four, and I'm still killing the single mother thing. So, yeah, check my pages out. There's pictures of my daughter on my Facebook page, so you might want to go look on there. And I will see you guys in my next video.